Remember last month when I said... And you'll have to check out in March because there is exciting new things coming to the farm. We are at that time. Today is the day that the chicken babies come. So I will be getting the brooder ready. Really, I should have had the brooder ready yesterday, but uh, anyway, you know, we'll just get it all done. The reason why you want the brooder done early is so the space is very warm for them. So I have six Buff Orpingtons coming. But today is also Sourdough Saturday, so I have bread orders that I need to get baked up for people to come and get today. <laughs> While the forno oven is heating up, we're going to go and clean that brooder. This is just my toting carrier for when they get a little bigger, but it does need a cleaning. It's been three years. That can be done later. It's more or less the big tote. And uh, Dottie wants to check it out. Because I'm in an urban center, you can't have uh, that many chickens. There is a limit. But then there's chicken math. And what do you do when there's chicken math? You just have to get more chickens. And so I try to keep a, a decent amount. Basically with your first year with chickens, you can kind of get about almost an egg a day. Then the second year it's less. And then the third year, of course, it's less. And so what were my babies are turning three this weekend. They're going to be laying less, which means that it's time to add to the flock. The babies will come today and then it will take probably about six months. So by September, that's when they'll start laying. So it's very exciting to be getting chicken babies. Now to let this continue to dry, I gotta go get the bread going. Beautiful bread. Beautiful bread. And since the oven is hot, we've got some mushrooms, onions, and pork chops going in. And squashes from last year's harvest. Spaghetti squash and a carnival squash that crossed with a pumpkin. Dinner is cooking. Now back to uh, getting the brooder set up because those chicken babies are coming. So there are our roasted pork chops with mushrooms and onions. Yum. I have to make sure that there's starter feed and water. And one of the things I read in Justin Rhodes' The Rooted Life was how to make magic water. And that's what I've always given to my chickens. It calls for a whole gallon, but I only have half gallon. And so we wanna have some water in here. This is boiled water, but I'm going to also add in some cold water with it as well. But I just want it to be able to melt the honey. And then we're gonna add in a quarter cup of honey. This is an unpasteurized local honey that was that's made here on the island. A quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. All these items are good probiotics for your chickens. And then two garlic cloves. They say minced, but I like just using a garlic press because then it's good and minced right up. And this is garlic from my garden. Then I'm just gonna top it with some cool water to cool it down. And now we've made our magic water for our chicken babies. I've thrown in a few ice cubes to cool it. You really should make it the night before. But as I said, uh, I should have done all of this yesterday. We're in a fast mode. So we have our brick in there and that's where we're gonna put our food and our water so that they have to climb up there. So we got all those 
wood shavings and then an extra bucket. And then we just have to put the bulb in the heat lamp. And then we're ready to go. Ooh. So I was putting my heat lamp into its holder and it broke off. So I need to go get chick starter and I need to go get another light. Oh, I've just used a microphone stand in the past. Um, because that's what I have to be my light holder. I just attach it. And we will take readings of their temp to make sure it's okay. And then that's going to plug in. Yay! I'm going to leave it on that rock because the rock was outside and that's going to help to warm it up a little bit more. Get this so that it's, uh, it's just slightly cool, but I just want, I don't want the rock to be too cold for them radiating. So I'll have the light fixture over here and their food and their water on there so that they don't kick all the wood shavings into the water and knock over the, the food. I did it. Chicken baby delivery. <laughs> Chicken baby delivery. Oh, oh my goodness. And they're all so grabbable. So we just take them out <laughs> and we dip their beaks in the water so they know where the water is and then put them down. You're like, where's my, where's my sisters? <laughs> oh, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, two more. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. You're not upside down. There you go. Oh, three more, sorry. <laughs> oh, hold still. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this is our new home. We'll have to wait for you guys to grow a little bit bigger and then we'll be able to name you. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Just wonderful to have brand new chicken babies. They will be in the house here with us for quite a few months before they'll move out into the greenhouse studio. All under their lamp, staying warm. They seem very, very different than our other ones that we've had. You know, they didn't really mind getting picked up and being held and whatnot. So we'll see how these little fair ones fare. Ooh, a whole bunch of preening going on there. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, God bless. Chicken babies!